Hello guys, it's Enchanted Lip. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this from a Dollar Tree doll. I only spent $3 on it in the Dollar Tree Plus section. Uh, it, I just did not like the colors. Dollar Tree did it dirty and they were all the same. So we had to give him some individuality. First I gave him a couple coats of white spray paint to give me an all over white and a really good priming and base coat for the rest of the colors to come out. I did do a third layer, I just didn't film it. And here you can see I start with the gray and use multiple coats and layers. So I just went through and did it quickly, really lightly so that it would dry fast. You can see I also just decorated. I went for an Australian Shepherd. I think they're really pretty. I just love them. They're so gorgeous. I've never owned one, but I just admire them. So I figured this would be a perfect little Australian Shepherd. For some reason, it just spoke that to me. Um, you guys can enjoy me painting. If you like this, please subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notifications every time I post. You can also follow me on Instagram, same name, enchanted underscore lip. Leave a comment if there's anything that you'd like to see me do. Just enjoy watching me paint some more. Here I outline the eyes just to add a little bit more definition and to set the lights apart from the body a little more. And just go through and do the finishing touches, the nose, the mouth, the eyes. Now he looked a little emotionless, so I decided to give him angry eyebrows for some reason. Not entirely sure why I did, but I enjoy them, so they stay. I thought about painting whiskers, but you can see I just kind of smudge it off and paint over it. I didn't like the way it was looking. Hey, if you're not getting messy, you're not having fun. I know it's hard to see, but here in a second, I start painting his little claws on. I thought that he needed some nails. His paws were a little bland. Now after a thorough drying and a clear coat, 
and decided to take my Cricut tool in and use that to peel the protective tape off, the painter's tape. Um, I do end up ripping out the other eye. I guess the tape was stronger than the glue they used, but it's okay. I do go in behind it and glue it in. I just don't think I caught that on recording. I also pull the blue off of the uh, solar panel in the back. With some mild cleanup, she's all done. Now here she is finished product. Now, now subscribe if you enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching.